Hello and thank you for um, watching um, this edition of On The Move with Lady Kate. Again, we are going to continue to focus on an important subject, uh, financial planning, financial health. And in the studio with me today is my co-host, Ndua Ndumba Bekima. Welcome, and I know you're a financial expert. It's such an honor to have you come and share your knowledge and expertise on this subject. Hi, Lady K. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so passionate about this topic. Indeed. We can't talk um, enough about it. I'm so happy that you put that focused yes. on your program is so important to our community having life insurance that's true and um i think um let's start like culturally go taking us back to cameroon to africa when we were growing up i know that culturally it's financial planning was it never came up like um, nobody ever talked about life insurance. It, it just didn't exist. And if it, even if it does now, it's very like minimal. And so it's not a cultural thing. People don't talk about life insurance. And when you do, it's like you're planning to kill somebody or you're thinking you're going to die. It's such a taboo subject. Um, uh, why do you think that is? Yeah, unfortunately it is. Life insurance is one of those taboo subjects mm -hmm. in our community. And it's mostly because um, the African community has social insurance. Right. And so it takes a village. So the entire family comes together mm -hmm. to make sure that everybody is well taken care of. So right. in the case of a death in the family, sure. everybody came together contributed money. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody's child ever went destitute. Some auntie or uncle or grandmother is going to take you in That's and true. make sure that you have the basic education and your basic subsistence. So right. we actually have social insurance in Africa. We're not used to life insurance. But, but here it, in America, we're living here. We're not back home where you have all the network um, of social, social insurance. Um, I think we still do in a way here um, you know, in, you know, when somebody dies, we always have like wake keeping, the community comes together, you know, visit the family, make donations to help. I mean, is that enough? Yeah. I mean, you know, we're always gonna be Africans. We're mm -hmm. always gonna have our wonderful culture yeah. where it really takes a village. However, I would really like to see us make that transition from social insurance to life insurance. I mean, right. we're always going to have the social insurance. Don't yes. get me wrong. That's a wonderful uh, it's a beautiful culture, aspect I think, of our community. Because other communities don't have exactly. that. When they see Africans, when we support each other, when there's death, they're like, oh, you guys do that. That's really nice. Yes. But it doesn't go far enough. Right. We need more than what that social insurance can afford us. Right. So and where you go... Yeah, to Rome, you want to do as the Romans do. That's Life right. Life insurance is ingrained in the American society, in the Western society. Right. Everything has insurance. You even have pet insurance. That's so right. You want to make sure that you have that life insurance for your family. Mm -hmm. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Okay. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that statistically speaking, you look if you want to look at life insurance for the Cameroonian male is 55.9 mm -hmm. for the Cameroonian male and the woman is a little bit more than that I think 50 You mean years life old. expectancy I'm sorry life, life expectancy, expectancy. Yeah. thank you okay. life expectancy again for the Cameroonian male yeah. is 55.9 so let's say 56 years right and for the Cameroonian woman let's say approximately 59 years wow. so there's 3 years difference between the man and the woman right so we're getting there so we're going to have men any more debts. Actually, I had a friend of mine back home who called me and said, Marilyn, what's going on? You know, you guys are sending so many dead bodies now. Right. And I told her it's going to keep continuing because we're at that age, mm -hmm. life expectancy for the male again, 56 years old, and for the woman, 59, 59. years old. Right. So I hate So even though we're living in the United States, that's, you know, our life expectancy is a little bit better than back home, but we still, again, you're saying we still. This is I think, our life I, think I really think that's yeah. uh, 
another topic for another show. Right, I know, right? But again, I want to say that, of yeah. course, we're here in the United States. Yeah. We don't have the dust. Right. We have better health care. Better health care. However, uh -huh. we have a more stressful lifestyle. True. Very the jobs, true. You know, yeah. so again. We're dealing with a different kind exactly. of stress. Exactly. So again, that we yeah. could bring in experts to look yeah, at that on that's another right. show. Yeah. But I want to say so that. So we may not be better off than, exactly. than people we can, back we, home. We can assume yeah, that that's because right. we live in yeah. America, we have mm -hmm. longer life expectancy. Yeah, I would really true. like to know. That's true. However, let's even say, let's add, let's say, okay, we're living in America. Let's add a few more years. So right. let's say for the man is 60 or 62, just assuming. Right. We're getting there. So yeah. sooner or later, it's going to happen. Yeah. So and we've seen so much um, recently, uh, people just drop dead. And, you know, all of a sudden, you see someone really healthy. You, you were with them like yesterday. And then today you get a call that they're gone. It, it's such a shock. Mm -hmm. And um, it's happening so often. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. know, life expectancy is a range. It is. So the average is, let's say, 60 years yeah. old. Some people are going to go before 60 of natural courses mm -hmm. and some are going to go above. Right. So it's, it's an average. Yeah. So with that in mind, everybody needs to get a life insurance policy That's no matter true. how small it is. Right. Especially with the rates being so affordable right now. Right. They are so affordable. A mm -hmm. standard life insurance for a 50 year old man mm -hmm. With a stand for a $1 million policy. Right. It's about $100 a month. Wow. So $50 every two weeks. You know how much Cameroonians spend when they go out? I know. So we are social animals. Exactly. Cameroonians are social animals. Africans love to enjoy their lives. So it's about, you know, prioritizing. Um, can you forego this Gucci purse and put the money towards your life insurance? Yes. You know, making choices that we have to start thinking about our future. Yes. Um, thinking about our loved ones, what will happen to them when we're gone? We're no longer here. Yeah. Yeah. Usually when I talk to families and I talk to moms. Right. Um, and they say, oh, Marilyn, it's so. And I say, how much do you spend on your nails, getting your nails done? Oh, my God. How much do you spend on your hair? Mm -hmm. And so you want to make sure that, you know, if God forbid anything happens, if life happens to you. Right. And right now. You have new and improved life insurance policies where it's no longer death insurance. Right. So you might be sick and mm -hmm. not able to work. Right. You know, but you're able to make sure that your family is well taken care of. True. So for the, the cost of maybe you forgoing your hair or your nails. Right. You m want to make sure that your family is well taken care of. Right. And also, I want to talk about GoFundMe. GoFundMe. Okay. So uh, GoFundMe is not a life insurance mm -hmm. policy. You mean GoFundMe, the crowd, uh, the, yeah, the crowd crowdfunding, funding, the crowdsourcing. Yeah, I see a lot of that. When somebody dies, I see immediately GoFundMe goes up and people contribute to it. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah yes. Mm -hmm. um, GoFundMe is a is a very good tool. It's a crowdsourcing tool, and it's convenient right. and easy to um, contribute money, especially with people all over the world. Right. Cameroonians all over the world want to participate and help out when something happens. Mm -hmm. But do not make that your primary life insurance right. um, policy. Mm -hmm. It's not. If you want to look at the latest GoFundMe accounts that have been opened up. I haven't ever seen one that has had twenty thousand dollars in it. Right. But let's even assume that a GoFundMe account was able to raise thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. What is thirty thousand dollars going to do for your family? Usually, that will take care <clears throat> of the funeral. Exactly. Because funeral expenses, again, that's an, a whole, another the whole subject to talk about. You know, the expenses of moving the the remains back to home. its final <clears throat> resting place back home. It's very very costly and usually the money that's raised by friends and family uh, usually goes towards that and and then nothing is left for the children or the spouse that's left behind to to take care of the the family yes because one of what we see mm -hmm. unfortunately often when the major breadwinner um, passes on right the standard of living of the family reduces sometimes the kids are kicked out of the home because oh. they can't make the mortgage payment that's right so you want life insurance usually takes care of that pays off the house right so the kids have a place to stay and they can go to the same schools right. they don't have exactly. to move to a different you know neighborhood school or neighborhood and be and yeah. their whole life be yeah. uprooted and right. changed because of the death of a loved one and that could really affect a child yeah yeah psychologically right so the life insurance 
insurance takes care of that. Mm -hmm. Life insurance makes sure that your car is paid off, so right. the kids have a car. Right. Life insurance pays for their college. Mm -hmm. How much a GoFundMe um, account? Which college is it going to be able to pay for a four-year college for your child? <laughs> Not even a year. <laughs> right. So when you go to heaven, you want to make sure that you leave enough money here on earth right. to take care of your family. So I when know. you're in heaven with the ancestors, right. enjoying yourself, you want to see your kids yeah. and your wife that they're well taken care of. And you said something earlier. You said when you go to heaven, don't take your salary with you. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of people have life insurance through their work, through their jobs. And um, what's your take on that? Because say you're working, yes, everything is going fine at work. And then tomorrow you lose your job or they're downsizing and um, you, you happen to lose your job. And that life insurance policy goes with that job. And then, so what's your take on that as far as just depending on that uh, work related insurance or just taking out something um, privately? And I'm so happy that you brought that up. That's sure. a very important topic because going around, mm -hmm. talking to families in the community, right? I can say about 75% of our community members, their life insurance comes from their jobs. Again, right. as you said, things happen. Yeah. And so, you don't want to be moving from job to job because no. sometimes it takes a while for those benefits to kick in. And Some I think companies take like 90 days. You got to right. go through your probational period. Right. Some are nine, um, 30 days, maybe a month. Right. Yeah, so it varies. Yeah. And I think if my memory serves me right, I think um, we've had that, encou that encounter in the community right. where we lost a young lady mm -hmm. who um, died before her benefits kicked in oh and didn't have God. any life insurance. So that's why they advise mm -hmm. that you want to have your own personal life insurance that right. you have for you. Yeah. That irrespective of whether you're moving jobs, right. you have your own life insurance. And again, life insurance now is like with the new and improved, improved. policies out there. Yeah. Life insurance is like an investment fund. So right. they're mostly usually investment funds that mm -hmm. have life insurance attached to it. Okay. So you really do want to open up a policy for yourself. Right. And the best time to open your policy is with that very first job. Right. When you're 16 yes. and you have your first job that's when you want to start putting money away you want to open those investment mm -hmm. accounts $25 right. $50 and start putting money away mm -hmm. for yourself you know because it builds up that yeah. is the right time and we're in the month of May June when the, we see our kids graduating with you know excellence and um, some are getting new jobs and uh, this is a good time for parents to start, you know, having that conversation with their children. As you get a job, think about this. And it's even cheaper when you start younger. The older you get, the more expensive life insurance is, right? Very, very yeah. important point. But first, mm. I want to shout out to all our graduates. Yes, yes. indeed, indeed. Class of yes. 2017. Oh, excellent We're so proud job. of you guys. That's We're right. so proud of you guys. Oh, yes. Oh, We're going to yes. be more proud of, of you when you become smart and yes. open up those investment accounts. Make sure you want to ask. Make sure they have life insurance attached to them. Again, mm -hmm. you said something really important because this life insurance, they're based on mortality tables. Right. Mortality tables is usually based on age. Right. Age and your health. Mm -hmm. And so when you start young, they're really, really expensive. Right. Most our... When you start young, they're expensive? Or I'm, I'm sorry. Mean, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When you, I <laughs> when you start young, they're right. really, really cheap. Very cheap. That's yeah. when you want... Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you wait for when you're older, like yeah. most of us do when we are 40s. older mm -hmm. and sick, yeah. that's when you want to get a life insurance policy. It's going to be unaffordable. And you may not even qualify You may not qualify. You may be rejected, yeah, actually. That's right. Yeah, because yeah. they go by BMI. Right. They take your blood pressure. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, the older you are, mm -hmm. the, you know, we start the tummy, start the that's cheating. That's right. Yeah. And these policies are going to become expensive. So actually, mm -hmm. life insurance policies, actually, they give them to 10-day-old babies. Wow. That is the time to start. And right. you can open them up as college funds, really. Right. Really, that's mm -hmm. where we see our American counterparts. Yeah. Most of them open up their college funds for their kids when they're 10 years old. Mm. And they actually life insurance policies that have investment funds. Right. And really, that policy grows up with a child. That's right. It pays for their first car. Mm -hmm. It pays for college. It pays for their wedding. 
it Excellent. pays for their trips in the summer when they want to travel go to Europe. that policy raises the child mm -hmm. when the child is 10 years old you open up 10 days old i'm right. sorry 10 days 10 old. days old you open up their policy right. and it grows with them anytime mm -hmm. anybody gives them money for their birthdays you know you put you put it in their investment policies mm -hmm. it pays for everything it pays for their wedding right it pays for their first house down payment for their first house they have so i really i can't say it enough you right. know my take home message is if every Cameroonian family, every Cameroonian family out there, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you, you're covered. We go out every day, drive to work. Yes. You want to go out and drive with a peace of a mind. Peace of mind. Knowing that whatever yes, happens, that's true. You, you're, you're not going to be somebody's problem. You're well taken care of. Right. Nobody has to open a GoFund account for you or for your kids, mm -hmm. you're well taken care of. You know, you have those investment policies. True. They are so affordable. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you do what you have to do for your family. Yeah, so as a financial expert, I know you can advise on this. There's a difference between term life and whole life. People get confused about that and, um, you know, whether to take on a term life insurance. And is there a difference as you get older, whether to do term or whole life? And I know whole life can get really expensive, yes, but yes. a lot more expensive. Yeah, so can you just throw some light on that? Yeah, actually, depending on, you know, their products, their financial yeah. products. Products, right. And it actually, as a product, when you go to the market, there's, it's what fits for you. Right. So depending on, you know, each family, there's no one cap fit all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it depends on your situation. But yeah, term, term life is... Um, Temporary insurance, mm -hmm. which is usually cheaper because right. it's temporarily. And then you have whole life, which is permanent insurance is forever or right. when you get to 100 years. So that's usually more um, expensive right. because it's an investment account. And you usually, every, um, every amount that you put in, mm -hmm. you get return on it. Okay. So it's an investment account, really. So mm -hmm. saying it's more expensive, it's cheaper, I would say it depends. It's it relative. Depends, because right. if you... All your premiums that you pay into the account, mm -hmm. you have investment on the premiums, right. and you end up getting more money. I don't know how. Exp at the end of the day, it, the policy pays for itself. Right. So it depends on what your situation is. Mm -hmm. But usually, the general trend is that young people starting their life out right. usually take term insurance because it's cheaper. It's affordable. It's right. affordable for them. But it's renewable. It is. It is mm -hmm. renewable. Okay. It is. It's affordable for them. They have right now, the insurance companies got creative. Right. They have all kinds of forms out there. You want right. to meet your financial planner mm -hmm. and have that discussion so they can see what's right for you. Okay. But then again, you never want to be out there not covered. Not covered. That's that's, unac that's, that's no unacceptable. No. Right. It's a you, no wanna, no. you want to have the rates are so affordable. Yeah. For the amount that you take out and spend on a Saturday night mm -hmm. in town, right. you can have coverage for yourself. That's and right. And so if God forbid anything happens, if life happens to you, life is going to happen. It is. It's, it's inevitable. Life. Exactly. Yeah, so it, if life happens, yeah. you're covered. Right. You're covered. Your family is covered. And... Um, Everything. Yeah, and I just want to say that um, as a financial expert, um, you run your own business. And so how can our audience reach you? I know some people may be eager to, to get with you and um, get some advice and, and on how to go about this. Yeah, Lady Kate, I'm, I'm, it's, it's my passion. Right. I am on a mission in our community to make sure that all Cameroonians in um, the DMV area have life insurance. And not only Cameroonians, I yes. think the African community is even yes. wider, yes. Yes. even bigger, and we all have similar needs. Right. right. Yes. Right. So how can they reach you? They can reach me by, on the numbers listed on the screen, they can send me an email, they can right. reach me on Facebook. Right. But I'm really on a mission to make sure that we all get coverage. We all, and life insurance is one of the easiest way to lift uplift a family That's from right. poverty. Yes. If, Again, as I said, if you take a $1 million policy on a 50-year-old man, it's about $100 a month right. on a term $1 million policy. Mm. And if something happens to you, what difference is that going to make in the life of your family? A whole lot of yeah. difference. Yeah. So please, my people, I hope that this information has been very helpful. It'll get us thinking and we will transform the way we think, the way we live our lives, and also start planning financially. So thank you for this great information you have shared today. What last word would you leave for our audience? 
want to leave for the audience um make sure your family is covered make sure your kids are covered life happens but when life happens you are going to be ready and your problem is not going to be anybody's problem you're well covered you're well taken care of and don't Please do not, when you die, do not take your salary no, no. to heaven. No, God knows. Leave it for your family. Right, right. God knows. Thank we you need so your salary much. Here. We need you. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it.